Did I use the shadow? HitFilm Sensei here. Today, in this video, I am going to talk about the day for night effect. And I'm going to give you five tips on how to make that effect look fantastic. So to do the day for night effect, it's actually very easy. What you do is you take your raw footage and you drop it into the editor timeline, or you can make it a composite shot and do it there. Then all I have to do is find the day for night effect, and it's under the color grading folder, and it's the very first one, day for night. And all you do is grab it and drag it onto it, and boom, there it is. And it looks pretty good, just like that. And that's how it works. It's just that simple. So now let's talk about five tips to make your day for night shot better. Number one, don't film at night. Instead, film it during the day and then apply the effect to it. But you want to film it on the right kind of a day. And that day is a cloudy day with no visibly defined shadows. So take a look at this. If I switch over here and there we go. And on this one, I'm just going to uh, remove the day for night effect here for just a second. And now look at the difference between these two shots. Now this one here on the right, I filmed during a cloudy day. And there are no defined shadows anywhere. The trees, the fence, nothing, right? You see me come across here. Uh, there's no shadows on me or anything like that. Now the very next day, it happened to be really nice and sunny. And so because of that, uh, I went back out and filmed basically the same shot. But you can see there's defined shadows from the fence, from the trees. Even if you look, there's a shadow across me. Of course, I'm wearing a different shirt now, right? And then it gets even worse because when it comes all the way over here, now there's this big sun flare from where the sun is actually shining, right? So if I take this sunny day footage and I drop it on here, and then I go and I get my... Um, I go and grab the day for night and I drop it on there. Take a look, see the shadow. You can just see those shadows and the sun flare and stuff. And you know right away, oh, uh, this has been filmed during the day. So the first tip, film on a nice cloudy day when you don't have any shadows to give away the fact that it's not really at night. Tip number two. Don't get the sky in the shot. When you notice him, when I filmed this, both of these actually, at no time did we ever bring the camera up high enough to get the sky in the shot. Okay, that will, even on a cloudy day, that will give away the fact that it was actually filmed during the day. Tip number three, add sound effects to sell the fact that the shot is night shot right? Or filmed at night, even though it really wasn't. Okay. On this particular video, I added some nighttime extraneous park sounds that I found and also some sounds of crickets. And that really sold the shot. Tip number four, bracket your night scene with other hints that it's already nighttime. So for example, show a setting sun right before you do your day for night shot. Or in the case of what I did, I showed that it was already dark outside. I filmed this part of the video at six o'clock in the morning when it was still dark outside. And so the, it looks dark outside. So then your audience will naturally assume, well, yeah, of course it's dark outside. And they'll be sold on the fact that it's actually a nighttime shot, even though you actually filmed it during the day. And tip number five, make adjustments to the day for night effect to make it look real. Okay, and here's how you do it. You bring it up, right? And what you do is, is you take a look at 
the near, and you take a look at the far, right? And you can adjust these things. You know, maybe I go, well, you know, it's a little bit bright on the bottom side. That's the near side. I could maybe drop that down to 0.3. Yeah, I kind of like that. And in fact, I might even drop the far one down to about 0.15. So that way it just looks a little bit darker. You may have to change some of the saturation, the, the gammas, the different colors, the hues. And the next thing you know, wow, you know, it looks it looks real. So just play with those settings and you'll get a really nice day for night shot. So if you want to see more videos with day for night shots, let me give you three suggestions for videos to watch. The first one is hit film quick tips video, which was published on June 19th, 2016. In this video, he does the entire day for night shot without actually using the day for night effect. And it's a pretty good video. So go check it out. Link is in the description below. Also, Josh and Kirsty over at the official hit film channel, did a video on June 7th, 2016, talking about how to make a dark video shot or a day for night kind of a look. Uh, again, without actually doing a lot, it was more talking about how do you do it in camera and that sort of thing. So go check that video out. It's in the description below. And finally, on July 6th, 2017, Javar Vaber did a video on the official hit film channel and it's a really sweet video on how to do a day for night. It includes a sky replacement and everything. So you can go check that video out. It's in the description below as well. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.